Um, hello, and uh, we're gonna play. So what should we play? Uh, we we've really. Um, I don't know. You know the variants better than I do. Well, how about um, Crazy House nine sixty to. Uh, Okay, sure. All right, so I'm going to make it like 10 plus 1, maybe. So my challenge is up top. So is it automatically... Oh, I see there's a rated setting. Are you going to challenge me? Well, I can't challenge you, so my challenge is up top. Uh, I don't know who the anonymous... I have to find... Oh, this is the stupid... This is the Safari bug. I can open it in Chrome. Sorry, one second. Oh, it's all good, man. Okay. Here we go. All right, cool. Uh, so this is crazy. Oh, weird. Um, I might need to make another challenge. It logged me out. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I'll just abort this one then. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Ready. Ready. Take time and... Uh, I can always give you more time as well. I liked the queen on a whatever in the corners last time. Uh -huh. mm. Hmm. So I'm higher rated than you. Yes. Well, um, I was playing some games with... Uh, I played Ecar. And uh, I played I played some other people who were just like stupid good and got killed. But just to like be like, hey yo, like you wanna just to get him to like come to the site, you know? Uh, yeah. Um, I got J Killer on here, but then because uh, he he like he challenges people to like Crazy House uh, three plus two. Um, and so I accepted and then said, Hey, do you want to play some 960? So I got him on it, but then he said he was on his phone and, uh, he could only see seven of the files oh, really? <laughs> and then he fucking beat me. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. He could only access seven of the eight files and then he beat me. Uh, but then, uh, we didn't, we didn't play that many games. Hmm. Maybe I'll just castle. Yeah, that, that guy just loves Crazy House so much. Like, he just wants to play, like, you know, long long games with people. It's kind of inspired me to, like, stop uh, with the stupid flagging battles, you know, 1 0 Crazy House on Lee Chess. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of. A weird game. Yeah, I need to do something about this tonight. So. Hmm.
that's the big difference of like crazy house and bug house is that like you can control the flow so yeah i can i, I would like make certain journeys with my king that i would really try never to make in bug right but I've, I've been trying that and experimenting with it and dying a lot but <laughs> In, in book, like, I just try and, like, keep an iron grip on the position and, like, never let them do anything to me. Check. Check. Could I go queen g6 here? Uh, takes, takes, pawn h6. And then I can just kind of waltz over to f7. I might even get away with that. I want to try it. Check. 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 Hmm. Check. 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 Yeah, the other difference is I have to actually calculate here. I can't just hope for more pieces come. <laughs> Yeah, I was partnering this guy, uh, PKR. It was like a few weeks ago when I like tilted all the way down to like 22 something. And uh, he like uses Crazy House to orient himself, whereas like I'm kind of the reverse. So, like I'll sack a queen and be like, oh, no, that's, you know, that's someone else's problem. I don't have to worry about the queen. But then in, Buck out, in, in Crazy House, I'll sack the queen and be like, why does my opponent have a queen? Uh, so... If I go king d8, there's knight f7, and then I either have to give up the exchange or give up the knight. If I go queen f7, maybe I, yeah, maybe this is the old, the, the greedy way to play. Check. Oh, that very nice move. Uh... Not easy for me to find a move. Oh. Check, check. Hmm. Now, if I go bishop at e8, then you sack your rook and win? No, I don't think so, because f7 will be covered. just picked up a piece. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm okay. Check, check. Oh, wait. I can take that. Uh, see, this that was like a bug house response. Because <laughs> you're not going to night. Hmm. 
I think it's still much better. Check. Oh god, this is awful. Uh... Yes. Check. 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 Oh, this is this is not very fun. Check. Nicely Check. done. Check. 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 Victory. Yes. <laughs> Uh, oh, you at a rematch card? Ready. Ready. All right. I'm going to take a leaf from the the Zach school of moving <laughs> moving with your C-pawn in, in this particular position. Oh, when you rematch, does it start with the same layout? Yeah. Like, right. ideally, it would be the same layout every two games and then switch but with this it's every game so if we want to keep playing this variant we, we should probably go back to the lobby and get a new one after this right Yeah, I thought you'd do that. Well, this is kind of what I was afraid you were going to do to me in the first game. Hmm. I 
can't even go knight takes d4 here, can I? I've got to do this, otherwise I lose my queen. Ooh, Bishop A7, very, very creative. I dig it. Don't know what to do here. I think it's it's close to equal because like my bishop on b one, kind of dumb. I think that's a smart move. Uh, hmm. What are the piece values in Crazy House? Same as in bugs, so um, pawns are one, bishops next. So two pawns per piece is, 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 yeah, is it, reasonable. Yeah, it's, it's reasonable, it's viable. Uh, so, so pawns are one, this is for the viewers. Uh, bishops, knights, rooks, two, queens are four. And I think that's true in Crazy House. And knights and bishops are considered equal. Yeah, knights, bishops, and rooks are all essentially equal. But it's, it's not like, you know, uh, kind of vacuous yeah, clause of like, well, it all depends, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I wondered if you'd sack your queen. Yeah, I'm just trying to play for some activity, but I don't know if it's going to work. Check. Check. Oh, this sucks. Yeah. Am I dead? Well, I think you should have gone king h8 because f7 was covered. Check. Oh. Check. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be annoying. 
Yeah. There's no take back function. I'd, I'd like to have it back just so we could analyze. Uh, King H8 was pretty good. Okay, where's my mate? Mate Check. two. Check. You lose. Uh, so what do you want to do? You want to get a new position? Oh, uh, sure. I just want to look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, you can analyze with the engine, too. So um, if you go to oh, uh, analysis board. Yep. I hit request analysis, or can I? Is it, do they have this like the uh, live analysis? Yeah, just uh, request analysis, but also like you can. Yeah, I mean it's not as good as Lee Chess, where like it you can like play through variations. Um, it's a bit rudimentary actually. Uh, you could probably paste this game into Lee Chess, though, right? To oh, that's, analysis. that's a that's an idea for sure. I'm curious about the first game actually too. Then. Because um, there was a couple moves um, that I wasn't sure about. Okay. All right. I've requested analysis. It's it's chewing right now. I wonder. I'm gonna try on HS. Will, will Lee Chess accept um, that Stein? I think we put the PGN in, and uh, I don't think it cares about... Yeah, it seems to work. Oh, cool. Okay. Can you give me a link or something so I can... Yeah, i figure out how I can share this. Uh... That's a... Yeah, don't do you know how I can share this? I have an analysis board. Um, if you just like uh, copy and paste the, the link. The, the link just says oh number. Does that work? Yeah, if you I like, can, um, you can like get specific games. No, but the link up top just is, is not a specific URL. It just says leechess.org slash analysis. Hmm. So I need to like save this somehow. Maybe if I hit study. Okay, well that, that created a, a thing. Sure. Uh, let me send it to you. Oh wait, did it work? Oh, I lost uh, half the game. Wait, hold on. Let me try that again. Or the, the other thing you can do if you just want to do it for yourself is just go to lechess.org, like the analysis thing, and at the bottom there's a PGN field and you can just copy it from uh, from PyChess and let me interesting that we can uh, this, this is actually a really good idea um, so it wants let's see let's see what first move okay it likes C4 so you found the best move when you were playing white yeah, I wonder if uh, I wonder how much you can rely on the analysis for you know like opening moves, but I guess it, it can't be a bad move. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like you know, sometimes like the crazy house uh, valuations will just like it'll sit there for a second and then just flip. Yeah, I mean, I thought C C4 made sense because it's supported by the queen and it opens up the like the bishop. And then you can put the knight behind it. Uh -huh. That was why. Are you looking at the analysis? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that was only the six six moves of the game, but. Oh. Let me. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I can share this. I mean, I guess I could just like copy paste the moves. So. This is, this is the whole game. Ah, okay, sweet. Saves me. Mark. 
So I liked your position a lot already after I castled. And yeah. then really and then after move six apparently it's plus ten. But I mean in Crazy House like it's it starts out like plus two or something. So are we both okay. able to like move the pieces? Oh, are, are you seeing my moves if I move stuff? Well, are you seeing my moves? No. I oh, myself. okay. So no. Um, I, I think I think there, there's a way to sync, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, D, it wanted ninety D four. It wasn't particularly fond of, so I kind of ruined it with D four. But yeah, I guess this position is really advantageous to White because uh, you kind of killed me with White, and then I I took a bit longer to kill you. But I I did get you in the end. Uh, so yeah, it's not a fan of the D4 thing. It likes pawn at G7, so... Apparently, it, yeah, it didn't like bishop D3. It flipped, actually. It says that I have... Uh, it likes bishop D3. I started winning at some point. When, yeah, I think once I was able to like plug G7 and get safe... Ooh. Oh, he didn't like my bishop D3. Yeah, I just didn't yeah. want to play b3. That just seemed so weird. Like, because like then it's like the bishop's stuck, the rook is stuck, and like there's a b2 hole. So I was like, I just take the take the pawn. It want so I, rook a c1. It wants pawn at c6, which I don't understand. Pawn at c6. Yeah. Well, now it wants bishop at a5. That makes a bit more sense. I guess pawn at c6 controls d5 while keeping the bishop on d7 in support of h3. Doesn't like my knight f4. Oh, it's, I'm, it's at minus 5 now. Okay. Yeah, I missed, I missed something. I should have taken, apparently. Oh, no, I like my move. Okay. I think I was gonna take with king, which probably killed me. Because queen, oh, I mean, yeah, I can go like, yeah, bishop d4 is stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah I was just thinking bishop b2 take... instead of instead of bishop b5. I'm sorry, on what move? Uh, 19 instead of bishop b5, I should just put something on h3. That makes a lot more sense. Because I chopped the knight off. Um, then it's kind of slow to like attack a rook. I should just take a... I thought you just played queen g2. And I thought you should have gone queen takes c1, but the computer actually wants queen takes f1 on move 19... On move 18, sorry. Oh, dude, now it's saying queen takes d4, which like looks insane. E takes... That's funny. The, 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 on, on my uh, browser, it's, it's actually suggesting the move I played, which was bishop takes f4. Okay. So maybe... Uh, yeah, it's saying it's minus 14 with bishop takes f4, and then minus uh, h6 g2. Yeah, you should have... you got to keep your eye on the ball, I guess. Bishop b5, a bit too positional. Yeah. All right, should we play another one? Yeah, sure. No, you're right. King, King, H8. Uh, and I'm still... It says I'm winning still, actually. So I had, had I played King H8. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I had played King H8. Okay. All right, yeah. But, I mean, that's like, you know, you have to ask, like, whenever there's that Knight H6 move, like, the first question you ask is, is F7 defended? And if it is, then you can sidestep. Yeah, I should have taken a moment to, like, calculate. I, for some reason, I just thought it wasn't, because the point of me taking the, the Rook wasn't to defend seven you know so i missed it okay so you want to stick with a uh, crazy house 960 or then no, we can try a different variant um how about let's get you a rating in uh in sarah one okay uh so this is the one that i apart from 960 i used to get people in so uh you know i'm uh I'm, I'm this, probably I forget it. the rules of this like crazy house or is it like just like chess it's just like chess except you have uh, the knight rook hybrid and the knight bishop hybrid. Oh, and by the way, there's a little gear on the side, and if you press that gear, you get pieces which are a bit more intuitive. Like, because the knight and the hawk to me are not very 
sorry, the knight and the, oh my god, the, the elephant and the hawk are not very intuitive, but like the, I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, you get a knight bishop and, uh, I see. Yeah, I, I mean, I. And a knight rook, I see. So, you make moves as in chess, but then when you move stuff off the back rank, then, uh, you can, um, introduce new pieces, right? And you don't have to. You, you don't have to. Although you do have to um, make sure you don't miss your chance to introduce them ever, because I've done that a couple of times. I didn't see you did that. <laughs> yep, that makes that move not great. Um, I don't know. I mean, you've got d4 here, and uh, I'm not sure how good it is for me. Well, that's true, because it's a valuable piece. i got to discover the attack on that. It's interesting how, like, you know, the standard theory gets sort of, like, interwoven with mm -hmm. the, the gating. So I could, I could potentially, like... Let's say you didn't have, uh, let's say the D file was completely open and the queen was unprotected. I could play like queen takes D8 and mate you if I put the uh, knight rook thing. Yes, that's a, that happens actually. Mm -hmm. um. Actually, the, I think in the, like a YouTube video with Yasa explaining the variant, he just sort of points that out, like, you've got to watch out for that kind of thing with the queen moving. Right, like here, if you take if you take C5, I have made one. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for warning me. Not very convincing start by me. No, if I castle, I can't place the piece, right? That yeah, no, if you castle, then you can, you have the option of placing it on E1 or on H1. Or H1. Yeah, um, but not both. Um, so I see. So we were either where the king or the rook. Yeah, from, exactly. For the queen side, I would also get the option of A1. Yeah.
These knight bishop pieces are tricky. I think. Oh, I say. I have to do this, don't I? To, to hang on to it. Yeah, see, I didn't realize I was check when I made that move. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> Oh, I haven't really said about the piece values, but, like, the knight rook, I think it's, like, eight, and then the knight bishop, you know, seven, roughly. Um, in Crazy House, I don't really know. Uh, but, you know, they're, like, in the vicinity of the queen. Tick. So the knight rook is, uh, is it, what, what, what did you, you just said seven and eight, and the knight rook is more powerful. Yeah. So I should not put a knight rook on that square. Well, I, I still might have because, like, I don't know. Tick. Oh, I see. Yeah, I might have some pretty strong stuff here, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm safe. <laughs> not scared. Yeah, no fan. Um hmm. Oh, but I, I couldn't have uh, promoted there. I mean, not promoted, but I, you can't do it twice from the same square, I guess. Or, or when these advanced pieces move, you can't put another one down. Yeah, um, I guess I guess that's the case. I guess I should have said something. Didn't really occur to me. I didn't. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing that. I just noticed that I moved the piece. I see. Um, uh, hmm. No, do they have a? They must have on this site a crazy house variation of this. Yeah, yeah, S house. It's um, I'm like really bad at that one because like it's so tactical, so it's not really a positional side to it. Like you just kind of you just never back off and you just like keep going for the squares and whoever sort of like gets the tactical shot first in, it's like decisive. Yeah. Just just run away with it. I did a series with Oppo who, um, he's like a pretty big name in Crazy House. And, uh, he just destroyed me, like, uh, it was like 8-1 or something. But, like, I played him in, like, regular grand chess, you know, the 10 by 10 and it actually came out even at the end. So, like, the, the bigger boards, like, favor, you know, more intuitive approach, and then... Right. Okay, now I'm starting to get scared. I don't well, like my bad development, though. That's the main thing that's bugging me here. Yeah, but I, I, I don't have, like, enough time to... Uh, to do anything about it.
Yeah, this isn't good. Well, it's your first game. Uh, maybe a bit unkind to uh, to make you play your first game in a while uh, rated, but like it's just nice to have people on the the leaderboard. Like it makes people makes the website look more active. Right. So it's 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 like part of my uh, my propaganda uh, campaign, really, for the website. Oh, I didn't see that move. <laughs> I didn't really want to play it, but yeah, I felt like I had to. Yeah, um, Frolic uh, destroyed me at this, but it, none of the games were rated. Well, it wasn't ratings, so I'm hoping that he'll come along and take all my points. Tick. But like, even though like he found it really easy, like he didn't, he wasn't like super thrilled with the game. I don't think. Okay, that's a good move. I guess I have to take. If I go like knight g4, it's like it's nice for a minute, but then what's my fault? I guess knight g4, king f3. The thing is, if I like knight c7 is really bad if I let you have it, because then I just have to give up the the, the chancellor. Uh, hmm. Maybe this one? Check. Check. That's a weird looking move. <sighs> oh, I see. It's, I'm pretty slow at these pieces. You want to play. What's that piece called? The Knight Bishop? Um, so it depends on the variant, but I tend to use the Capablanca. Terminology. So in the Capablanca terminology, the one I'm checking you with is an archbishop, and then the other one is a a chancellor. <laughs> yeah, I can't really play King F two. I kind of don't have any good moves. Yeah, I think. It Cause like I'm just gonna pick off the knight with check and I'm pretty much fine. Yes, I did not see that move at all. I didn't see how good it was until I played it. I could always just simplify and take that and then take and then go rook takes. And I think that's a bit too hasty.
Check. 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 Yeah, this was too hasty. Well, oh, I really wanted that. <laughs> uh. I guess I can even do this, because if you take, then it's like better for me in chess a little bit. Um, on time. Check. 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 Okay. Now I should lose pretty quickly. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's theoretically better for me, but I've got to actually do the hard work of. I don't know. You're you got a bunch of you got the bunch of pawns too. Yeah, that's true. I suck at end games though. That's why I like bug out so much because like you don't have to play an end game pretty mostly. I mean, I'm not good at end games. The only people that are good at end games are nerds, pretty much. Check. 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 You lose. <sighs> he did all right. He did pretty well. Ready. Ready. It's hard. This game. <laughs> I have like. It's very hard to calculate because I I don't like auto calculate the moves with the the different pieces. Uh, what do I do? Oh, the Dutch. The spectator. Uh, that's GB Tammy. He uh he like does the code, so he's uh. You know, it's, it's effectively his website, although there are some other people. Um, there's UB Dip who um, made like the the variant, like he made like Stockfish from Lee Chess. He made it like good at variants. So it's, mm -hmm. when you play the engine, it's like you play in um, Fairy Stockfish. And um, Couch Tomato is the graphic designer. And it's, it's cool. They kind of treat me like I'm one of them, even though I, I'm just the guy who shows up and plays. Well, you're the, the advocate. Yeah, I'm, I'm like the, the advocate. Uh, hmm. This is going to be interesting, I think. I mean, you be... Um, um, 
GB Tally, like, you know, it was Katas who showed me this website, and then I was, like, you know, kind of inspired to start streaming again, because I took, like, a break from streaming. Uh, okay, C yeah, C5 is a really nice move. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too thrilled with my position, because you, that bishop just feels really powerful. I don't want to castle into that. Yeah, it's interesting in this variant that um, it's, it seems like not as big a deal to lose like one of the bishop colors because you can always put the like you can always put the archbishop on that color. Yeah, so you have like more room to play like moves like g five and b five and stuff. Right. Kind of like how in Buckhouse, like you you know. Yeah, bishops the colors don't really matter too much unless you can't get a bishop. Right. You can fix the positional weaknesses as fast as you create them sometimes. So with that said... Are you going to sex it on me? I'm sensing the sex it. Uh, I guess if I push h3 and you go bishop takes g3, I would take the knight. I think if I sit, I lose. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I go queen d2, cover up. It's nice. Maybe queen c7 first. Oh, but then maybe a6 first, queen c7, and then you can play that move. Oh, yeah. You lose. I, I just realized maybe I, I could have tried, although I don't get what it worked, but I could have tried the uh, knight rook piece to g6 with the idea of taking g2 with check. Uh, which move? Oh, on move 15? Yeah. I don't think it works, but... Yeah, I'm attacking your queen and I'm threatening. It's probably better. 
attack the queen and I threaten uh, check on G2. Mm-hmm. All right, should we do one more? Yeah, yeah. Of this? So, yeah, this will be my last one, I think. Though. Okay. Ready. Um, I did a stream with, um, well, I didn't stream, but uh, this guy, Mango Town Travis, and, like, he streams, like, all the variants. Uh, he's, like, he knows, like, a ton of variants. And I think he's, like, pretty strong in Blitz, too. But we played Omega Chess, and it's not on this website, but uh, it's, like, a big, it's a 10 by 10 variant with, like, it's a, the pieces are, like, a wizard and uh, a champion. Pretty interesting. The wizard's a pretty cool piece. Um, but he, like, has been streaming Capablanca chess, but, like, King of the Hill Capablanca and, like, uh, some other, like, ideas that is, like, you know, like, hybridizing the variants. I think yeah. he said he did, like, three check and four check with it as well. But also, mm -hmm. like, variants where, like, you can't, uh, you kind of have to agree beforehand, so, like, contamination so it's like if they touch your king and it's not immediately captured then then they win what does that mean contamination so it's like if they have a piece that's adjacent to your king for one move and it's not immediately captured then that's a win uh, huh. which like people do with like um i'm not taking it for this time i've learned my lesson um uh, there's a there's a guy who does that with like standard chess like variants that he thinks of on chess where like you just have to agree because like the he thinks of too many of them to to code but like in his streams people like always be like yeah i agree and then they just like cheat basically like they just like they'll like break the rules that have been agreed on and then just like win and he's like yeah you need to resign i've won and then just like flag him or something I, I just don't trust my ability to calculate anything in this variant. I feel like your pieces come out of nowhere. Yeah, I get that sense playing the engine too. I mean, it's tough. You know, there's, there's a lot going on. I, th I feel like that these pieces kind of, they need a bigger board. But it's like this variant gets super congested as well. Uh, Check. All right, so you got a pawn back. That makes sense.
Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, does it work, though? Because if I take e4, then I'm covering d6. So I think I can get away with this. Yeah, I'm kind of terrified. <laughs> well, you you did too well at Crazy House 960, so I had to I had to switch it up. I'm not mated though, right? If I, I go to G Well, I've got like knight g3 and then taken on g2. As yeah, but then I just go to g1, right? And there's no... Well, no, we can't because then I'll move it to h3 and then it is mate. Oh. Uh, yep. That's very tricky. So maybe queen e1 is the defense because then... You, you, but then you'd have to give the queen. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh... I really wanted to meet you with that piece on D6. I I wasn't really looking for that, but yeah, that that's definitely a thing. That's a theme. I want to meet you, but like you're to like pretty well defended now, so. No, I think you have mate, actually. Yeah, you're like, I think you've made in three. All right, I'll play my move and then I don't think I have mate, so, but t tell me after. Yeah. Uh, Well, maybe you don't. I kind of miss something. Yeah, um, I just have to. I thought I thought knight f two rook takes uh, archbishop takes g two, but I have rook takes g two. Yeah. I didn't okay. see that the rook came back to defend g two. I think I have to just convert my material advantage patiently. I even gave up the the juicy h file just to avoid any shenanigans with archbishop b6 
that's pinned. Yep, I see that now. <laughs> uh, you lose. All right, good games, man. Good games. I'm going to end the recording. <laughs>